The IS-3 was a complete redesign of the IS line of heavy tanks from the Soviet Union that featured more armor with the same lethal 122mm gun that was found on the IS-2. Prototypes of this vehicle were first seen in October of 1944, and this tank was pressed into service in May of 1945. Since it was rolled out at the end of World War II, it did not see much combat in the war, with only one regiment being deployed to fight Japan, and that was only about a month before Japan surrendered. This tank was when we first saw the Pike frontal armor design, and also the upside-down bowl turret, if you want to call it that. It had between 20 millimeters and 230 millimeters of armor, with the front of the vehicle, of course, having the heavier armor. When 1960 rolled around, the IS-3 underwent modernize, modernization to keep it up with what the Western countries were developing. Eventually, the Soviets moved on to produce bigger and better t things and left the tank to buyers like China and Egypt. It was used by Egypt in the Six-Day War against Israel and their M48 patents. And in this example, the IS-3 was to the Patton what the Tiger was to the Sherman back in World War II. Going at the IS-3 head-on was certain death, but if you got around to its sides, it was much, much easier to take it out. The IS-3 is considered by some to be one of the best tanks of all time, and was used as the basis for many other Soviet tank designs. It was one of the most technologically advanced tanks when it came out, and it proved itself throughout the Cold War. 